how to use Google Calendar for project management. Hello guys and welcome to today's video. In today's guide, we will teach you how to use Google Calendar for your project management. Google Calendar is a powerful tool that can help you stay organized, manage your schedule, and effectively track and coordinate your project tasks. So whether you're working on personal projects or collaborating with a team, Google Calendar can be a valuable asset in keeping everyone on track and ensuring smooth project execution. Google Calendar allows you to create events, set reminders, and share your Google Calendar with others, making it easy to schedule and manage project-related activities. You can create separate calendars for different projects or use color-coded events to distinguish between tasks, deadlines, meetings, and milestones. So, whether you're new to Google Calendar or have been using it for personal schedule, this guide will help you use it for project management. So let's get started. Now right now, I am currently using my Google Calendar and we're going to teach you how you could use this effectively. As you can see, we are currently looking at the monthly section for our calendar. You could view it by day. As you can see here, it will change how you view your calendar right here. You could also view it by week, which will also separate it. As you can see here, we have the Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. You could change it to monthly, which is what we saw earlier. Personally, I prefer this view more because it would allow me to monitor every single day of the month. You can also view it on your yearly schedule. As you can see here, you will be able to see like all the months over here, January until this, this December. You can also check out the different schedules that you have appointed. As you can see here, we have our different holidays in this section. You will be able to see which specific day and which specific day they will be held as you can see here. And you can also check out four days options over here, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday over here. You can also show weekends or show the client events over here. Now going back to monthly over here, now this is what people would usually use when creating a schedule for project management. And they will be able to also zoom in like for the specific day or specific week, like the different tasks supposed to be done on that specific day or week. And you could select a specific day. For example, we could select Wednesday. And when I click this, it will show this pop-up over here. When I could add a title and time over here, I could choose which time in this section. I could add a guest. I could add like a Google Meet video conferencing over here if you, I would like. You could also add like a Microsoft Team meeting over here as an add-on. I could add the description or attachment over here. And like me, as you can see, this is the user. For example, I would like to have wednesday as my work time you could add a more descriptive title if you would like but for me we're going to go with a very simple one as you can see work time and we could choose between event task and reminder for now we're going to go with task as you can see uh it is may 3 we could select this and this is for wednesday which is next week and as you can see i could add a description so let's say work on 10 topics and 10 tasks and just like that and then i could add some list over here right now i don't have any list and i could save this and just like that i have my work time on this section over here i could also delete this or edit the task just like this and as you can see just like that and then actually i could click this again and as you can see here we could mark this as completed and we will be able to see this as you can see it will be lined with a line indicating that we have accomplished this task we can also delete this for the meantime now we could do the same thing. We could do the same thing for the event, which I have talked about earlier. We also have a reminder over here. Now, aside from this, you could see here on the left side, you could also click on create, which would allow you to do it once again, but you can simply click on task, for example, and you will have to select the date over here. And there's also appointment schedule in this section, but this is for premium mode, uh, which in, you can try this if you would like. It's the same thing, but this is for like uh, non-specific sections. But for this one, what we did earlier, we could specify which day we would like. You could also do the same thing for a day. For example, I would like to assign something on 12 p.m. on Monday. I could click this and I could do whatever I would like on the specific date that I have selected. Now going back to our monthly over here. You could also see your months over here on the left side. You could navigate through them just like this. And you can search for people over here. You can search for people over here. If ever you have assigned them on a specific task 
on a specific day you can search them in this section and it will show you where they are which day they are assigned just like that you can also check out your different calendars over here and other calendars over here you could add more calendars by clicking on this you could add them from calendar create your calendar browse calendars of interest from url or import over here now you could use different other platforms like asana and click up over here because these two platforms are for different tasks as you can see here you could check out asana if you don't know this but this is a very good to do website or a to do platform where you can monitor the different tasks that you have have some reporting portfolios and goals just like that and you can connect this with your google calendar for example this one over here what you need to do is you're going to open your specific task section then click on this section then you could add export sync to calendar and you will receive this link over here simply going to copy the link go back to google calendar click on the add option over here from url and simply paste it in this section and add calendar then you will be able to sync your google calendar with your asana over here as you can see in this option you could view them in this section and you could simply disable this by doing this or you could delete them by clicking on the x just like this click on remove from calendar and you will be able to remove it just like that you can also do the same thing for our click up over here wherein you could simply select the specific section or specific uh, space that you have go to the calendar and click on the side section over here this is what it would look like normally you're simply going to click this and you could add your calendars with this option over here as you can see google calendar so you could sync your asana and your ClickUp with your google calendar over here which would allow you to manage your different tasks more efficiently now if you feel bored by what your calendar looks like as you can see if you're bored with how it is displayed right now you could go with your different extensions like more color for calendar as you can see here under preview you will have more options with the different calendar different colors for your google calendar options over here as you can see this is our default default color we could change the color over here you could change it to this options over here but this seems very small a small amount of options for colors so you could use this extension over here which would allow you to have more colors for your different tasks which would allow you to better identify different tasks projects and reminders for your google calendar now you could also add some background to your google calendar if you think the white uh, background is very plain you could go and download or install custom calendar background to your browser over here as you can see here under samples over here you could add a specific background to the background of your google calendar which would make it more interactive or even uh, visually appealing for you users You can also check out over here on the right side, you will be able to use different tools like Keep, Task. As you can see here, when you click this, you will be able to see the Task section over here. We could add Task in this section. You can simply type in it in this area. You can also check out your Contacts, your Maps, and different applications over here like different add-ons. You can click on Add-ons over here, and we will be able to see this pop-up. We're simply going to wait for it to load, and just like that, you have your Google Workspace Marketplace wherein you will be able to see the different apps that will work with your google calendar and would help you with your project management as you can see here we have this intelligent app which is reclaim ai which would help you work smarter and save time you also have zoom miro and ring central for google workshop over here there's also crm and other applications over here that would add more features to your google calendar and help you with your different things depending on what you would like to use google calendar for I could also check out your settings over here, like your density and color, print, add-ons, trash, settings, stuff like that. You could search them over here also if you would like, like search in where, what, who, where, doesn't have, and date over here. And you could also click on today, which would let you go to the specific area or the specific calendar of day. Because if we, for example, we could go to July or August and then click on today. We will be automatically transported to the 31st over here because today is may 31st and that's it guys that's how you could use your google calendar and make it more efficient or make it more visually appealing if you would like and use it for your project management and that's it guys hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching